everyone, this is Deborah. It's Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day to any of you ladies that are out there. Um, I just ordered my Mother's Day gift. It was Auntie Anne's pretzels. And I'll show you the wrapper. Yeah, I kind of crave them even though they're bad for me, but the Uber Eats driver gave me this for Mother's Day. It's a, it's like a chicken and hens. It goes into those terracotta plants that have the holes. So that was so nice. Yeah, his name is Timothy. So yeah, I think I'm still kind of recovering. I don't have my energy back uh, 100% and I'm a little depressed because like three days ago it was like, um, 89 degrees and now it's I got the heat on but I wanted to thank you all because I realized that outside unit is part of my HVAC and it's not running the fans not going I go out there and check it it just does not go so uh, since I did get a home warranty I'm calling them and they're going to set up an appointment because um, I'm covered but I just realized after reading the fine print on the contract that there is a cap. There's always a cap. Even when you have a tree that's down, if you call your insurance company, they usually have a cap, you know. But you can usually get the company or the tree company to absorb the deductible, if you know what I'm saying. Um, so, it is Mother's Day and I just called my daughter in Key West. She says, Mom, you have no furniture. All you got in your living room is a lawnmower. Yeah, I don't have any furniture. I did get a notice from the IRS. I was wrong. Uh, they did forward a letter uh, from um, my friend's house in Dumfries to me. So I got it and it says, we're reviewing your taxes. Well, I have a feeling a lot of people are getting that. Um, so I've never been audited and I've never had a review. So we'll just see what's happening. So, um, yeah, I don't have no furniture. So I don't want to, like I told you, I don't want to spend any of my emergency money until I get my tax refund and then I can go and get uh, everything and maybe two or three trips. But in the time being, I'm still going to drive to where I used to live and pick up a car load. That's the least I can do. And I've already put away everything that I picked up um, two weeks ago. So yeah, that outside condenser is, is part of my system. And, um, so I'm going to get someone uh, to look it over and write down his feelings. Well, actually the home warranty people, they choose the person because they're going to choose the one that is going to work with them. If you know what I mean? So, um, it's very cold. We had a tornado warning two days ago and I was going to mow my grass again because it's growing like a weed. The weeds are growing like a weed, uh, but the ground is too soft and since it's electric, I don't want to risk that. I'll wait till it dries out. So, um, uh, I had a guy knock on my door yesterday and he was from ADT trying to sell me a security system. I said, listen, I got alarms on every window. I've got cameras everywhere, getting ready to put up big motion lights. And I sleep with a gun. I said, I think I'm good. <laughs> I think I'm good. So I need uh, to dye my hair, but I'm thinking, just let it grow out. I don't know. I hate that. I hate that growing out. So I think I'll just dye it whenever I feel up to it. Um, so, uh, yeah, I just went in my bathroom to put on my face and realized that they hung the light fixture off center from the vanity. Oh my God. It's, it looks crazy. I don't, I think when I hire a, um, carpenter to come and hang my mirrors, maybe he can move it over if there's not too many holes in the wall. We'll see about that. So I am going up in the attic and taking off the plastic because I think they put that up there during the winter because I bought this place right when it was really, really cold. And I think they just put that plastic up 
to, to maintain the heat of the house. But behind the plastic is a wooden door that is made to fit with a little latch. And I think I'll open that for the summer months. And then I bought a lock, uh, cause you all, some of y'all told me to get a lock for the uh, crawl space door. And I put it on there. It took me a while to figure out how to set the lock. But then my granddaughter says, Nanny, the lock, the door, any animal can still come in from the top. So I'm gonna have to get that, I guess, professionally made so that there's no opening. Cause you can stick your hand in there, you know, and it's full of mothballs. So I, I know why they do that now to keep the critters out. So um, I did trim my bushes out front and it is just a nasty day. And my son did wish me happy Mother's Day. And my daughter, my daughter bought me those Myers cleaning products. Um, and I just found out my ex daughter-in-law is coming down to see her daughter, which is my granddaughter at the end of the month. And so that'll be nice uh, when she visits. I haven't seen her probably in, I guess a year and a half. We've been able to maintain um, cordial relations. Um, that's the thing in, in my family, most of us, we forgive, we forgive after a certain time goes by, we forgive. Now, some people don't don't deserve forgiveness and, and they're blocked. Like I was gonna unblock two people today and I go, no, no. Some people don't deserve to be in your life, okay? But um, I have learned this lately about women, uh, from being on TikTok, and that is we let you slide, let you guys slide on so much stuff. But when we've re reached the end of our road there, we don't want you back. It's done. So, yeah. Um, a lot of women get hung up in the honeymoon period where it's a vicious cycle of abuse where the guy will do something horrible and then apologize, and then us women will think you're gonna change, and then you don't, and then he, uh, you know, buys you expensive jewelry, and then he treats you really well for two days out of a month. Yeah, it's a vicious cycle. Pe girls or boys, don't wait, I should say men and women, don't wait for your partner to change, because you will waste your precious time on this earth. They don't change. They might say they're gonna change, they write you a wonderful love letter, but they don't change. So don't wait for your partner to change because I made that mistake on a lot of my uh, relationships. Um, I think only one guy has actually said that he was sorry, but sometimes when you say hurtful things to people, it still eats away at them and they're not going to forgive you. So be very careful, even if you're mad, of what you say to people. Um, yeah, my son just apologized for something that he had uh, said to me about a month ago and it, it devastated me. Um, because I love my children so much, but he... I realize that uh, if y'all have been watching me for a while, he's been in a very uh, bad place. Uh, he's going through a lot of changes in his life. And I said, of course I forgive you because he did apologize. Because I, I think all of us have been kind of mean to our mom or dad. And um, it's not until they're gone that that regret eats at you. It eats at you. Uh, so, uh, of course, I have to forgive him because his emotions are all over the place. So, um, yeah, I wasn't always the nicest daughter to my mother, but I will tell you this, on her deathbed, she looked up at me and she said, Debbie, you're the only one that was never mean to me. And that soothes my heart. So... Happy Mother's Day to everybody again, and thank you so much for watching. Bye.